Hello ladies and gentlemen, Chris here with another project. Today we are going to build a small low-cost propane gas forge. I started this project for two reasons. The first one is the inconvenience of the coal forge I tend to use. Nowadays it even is a challenge to get proper forging coal from where I am located. Therefore a gas forge seemed to be faster and easier to operate. The second reason is that I conveniently had a large brick of concrete foam lying around. I figured that thing would work quite well as a burning chamber. But let's start with a short disclaimer. Working with flammable gases is dangerous. So make sure you know what you're doing, or at least get somebody who knows that stuff to help you with the burner. With that out of the way, let's start with making the heating chamber of the forge. I used a foam concrete block which by the way goes under the name Uton in Europe, because I already had one. But in terms of cost efficiency, it is quite a good material to use for a forge. Also, you don't need to fabricate a casing or make your own concrete forge block. After cutting the old block to size, I started making the heating cavity. The material is very easy to work with. You can cut it with literally every tool in your shop. In order to manufacture this pretty deep chamber, I used long concrete drills and a rotary hammer. But you could also use a chisel and a hammer and do it by hand. Using the drill, I just needed to do a little bit of cleanup afterwards and the job was done. The first consideration for such a project is the size you want your forge to be. I opted for a size where I could get a reasonably large knife in. As I'll show later in the video, it turned out to be beneficial to keep the chamber as small as possible. I ended up with a fairly square chamber, which will do the trick. The next task is to build a burner. For the first test I went for a single burner which would be mounted in the middle of the heating chamber. I guess you also could buy a complete burner unit for a few bucks off the internet. But where is the fun in that? So I started with cutting a cast iron pipe to length. This would end up being the outer shroud of the burner. It already had a thread on one side. I used this thread to mount a T-piece as an air intake and the end cap to hold the gas pipe. The gas pipe itself is made from a copper pipe which I prepared for soldering with a gas fitting. At the end of this assembly I needed a nozzle. I've seen people using MIG contact nozzles for this purpose. But I made my own by turning a press fit plug with a small hole in the center. On the back side of the nozzle I drilled a 6mm counter bore, which does not go all the way through the material. After parting the nozzle of the stock, I drilled the front of the nozzle with a 1mm drill through to the counter bore. And that's it for the nozzle. The next thing to do would be the shroud. Assembling the shroud tube, the T-piece and the end cap allowed me to bore the hole for the gas tube on the lathe. It had been faced flat, pre-drilled and then bored to the outer diameter of the gas pipe using a small boring bar. Now we can start assembling the gas tube. First I pressed the nozzle into the front end. On the back end I soldered on the fitting for the gas hose. Make sure to test the soldering joint for any leaks before you mount it in your forge. Also make sure that the gas tube does not get too hot. The last thing to do before the first test is to mount this assembly in the burner shroud. 
Having hooked up a bottle of propane, we can fire it up for the first time. I'd say that looks alright for the first test. It could do with a little more air though. It also turned out that the position of the gas pipe inside the burner shroud is important for proper flame. So I added a screw on the end cap for adjustment as well as a few additional vent holes. So far so good, but we still need a way to mount the burner to the forge. As the material is so easy to machine, I decided to make a hand drill in exactly the size we need the hole in. Fortunately, I still had the cut off from making the burner shroud. Cutting a few geometrically perfect formed teeth into the pipe allowed me to drill the hole by hand. The last bit of material had been drilled with a slightly smaller diameter. This left me with a lip in the hole the burner shroud would sit on. I guess this solution is good enough for the time being. But the burner will be fixed in place with some oven cement as soon as I'm happy with the performance of the whole assembly. During the first firing I noticed a few things. First, the foam concrete works great as an insulation material and as a burning chamber in general. After about half an hour of firing of the forge, the outside of the block got hardly warm at all. But I also noticed that the forge needs quite a bit of propane to bring this piece of metal to forging heat. It took me about 10 to 15 minutes. Closing the opening up as much as possible had matters a bit. That's why I would make the burning chamber a little bit smaller if I would do the project again. For now I added a bit of the cutoff from the concrete foam brick back into the burning chamber. A smaller cavity would certainly reduce the necessary amount of gas. Another thing I saw during testing was that the burner shroud would get quite hot. It should not be too much of a problem since the gas tube itself stayed cool during the whole test. But I might add some cooling grooves to the shroud. In the end I managed to heat my test piece to forging temperature using this contraption. So I'd call it mission accomplished. Thanks for watching.